Hello! Who's ready to go book shopping? read a book for fun since like Harry Potter in eighth grade. I mean, I've read books since then, but like for school. And I got on TikTok's book talk as everyone should at some point in their life. And then I impulse bought Beach Read and I was obsessed, just like instantly obsessed. I think I read this in like 36 hours. And then because I loved Beach Read so much by Emily Henry, I quickly ordered People We Meet on Vacation, which I also loved. And I am now out of books. So I need to do some book shopping. My plan today, I have The Hating Game on hold at the library and it is finally ready for me to pick up. They're making The Hating Game into a movie starring Lucy Hale, whom I absolutely love, big Pretty Little Liars fan. I really want to read the book before the movie comes out. So our first stop is to go to the library. And then my plan after that is to go to Book People. And Book People is an independently owned bookstore in Austin. And then depending what I find at Book People, we may or may not go to Barnes and Nobles. All right, let's go book shopping. Everything you said, we already knew, more or less. First thing when I got to the library is I went and grabbed The Hating Game from the reservation section. And I'm gonna start reading it at the library, but I wanted to do some exploring first because when I tell you this is the coolest library I have ever been to in my life, I mean that. I mean, just look at their children's section. It looks like a very hip, cool version of Swiss cheese. Probably my favorite thing in this library is the staircases. Tell me they don't look exactly like Hogwarts staircases. As a giant Harry Potter fan, it, oh my God, it literally makes my heart so, so happy when I see them. There's also just so many fun little nooks, including this massive balcony that may or may not have one of the best views in Austin. Like it's just gorgeous. And when it is not a thousand degrees outside, I will be sitting out here as many days as I can. They also have a huge amount of CDs and movies, which I always forget that libraries carry CDs and movies. And they have an entire section of really, really, really cool large print books. But yeah, I spent like an hour just walking around and exploring every nook and cranny I could. I even almost checked out the girl with the dragon tattoo because I had heard good things, but decided not to. And instead I found a quiet little spot to start reading in. I read the first chapter of The Hating Game and I really liked it so far. It's about Lucy and Joshua who are coworkers slash enemies. So it's enemies to lovers and they're assistants to the co-CEOs at a publishing company. And Lucy is like really sweet and girly and Joshua is like very serious all the time. And they play these like hating games to try and annoy the other one. And then I haven't gotten to this part yet, but according to the summary, they both end up competing for the same promotion. So I'm sure there's a lot of drama with that. But yeah, I read the first chapter and then headed out to do some book shopping. Okay, I just left the library and I'm at a new bookstore. I'm so excited to read another Enemies to Lovers book. I feel like they do dislike each other so far in the first chapter, but if you take the time to like purposely like try and annoy each other, at that point it's just like adorable. Like if I really hated someone, I would just not talk to them. And I love when main characters love books and the fact that the two main characters work at a publishing company, so obviously they love books. <sighs> It's like I'm reading a book about characters who love books. Like what could make that better? I'm at this little bookshop called Book People, which I've never been to before, but I've heard it recommended a lot. I am on the hunt for some Colleen Hoover. I really want to read the, the basics everyone is recommending, Ugly Love and It Ends With Us. I'm like down for anything else that I see that looks cool there. Okay, I'm gonna go in. Book People was so freaking cute inside. They had so many like little personal touches. They had all these little review cards that were written by staff members by a lot of the books, which like, what? That is so cool. Like I mega appreciate like little touches like that. And they had a blind date with a book section so you could just get a random book. And I really wanted to do that, but they only had it in the teen section. So I wasn't sure if it would be too young for me. And then here are the books that I considered getting. The first thing that caught my eye was One Last Stop by Casey McKeeson, which I've never read a book by her before, but I have heard so much about her other book, Red, White, and Royal Blue. I think One Last Stop came out fairly recently, which I didn't even know that she had a new book coming out, but I ended up getting Red, White, and Royal Blue since it's her more popular book. And then Normal People and When We Were Young, I've heard about a ton on TikTok, but I don't really know much about like the actual plot of those books, but they have the prettiest covers. So that really caught my eye. And then I almost got They Both Die at the End and One of Us is Lying, which are a little bit more darker books because they both deal with death. And I was 
just Googling one of us is lying. And I did not realize it's gonna be a drama series on Peacock. So I low key regret not getting that book because I really wanna read it before the series comes out now. All right, I just got out of Book People and that is the cutest bookstore I think I've ever been to. It's two stories, it's really big and they have a bunch of like little plants above the shelves. And just, I don't know, all the aisles were like so personal. Like it was a very like independent owned bookstore. But I ended up getting red, white and royal blue. They didn't have any Colleen Hoover, which broke my heart. I debated getting Malibu Rising, but they only had it in hardcover for $30, so I did not get it. Red, white, and royal blue, it's about the son of a president and the son of a prince, and they're like enemies, they don't like each other, and their families force them to be like fake friends. So it's like enemies to fake friends to lovers. But yeah, it looks really cute and I'm really intrigued by the fact that they're both like basically royalty. I'm debating going to Barnes and Noble because I really want to get ugly love. The only problem is I'm in the city right now and the closest Barnes and Nobles is like 20 minutes away, not in the direction of my apartment. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna head back home to my apartment and then I'll decide where I want to go next. Hello, I am back. And I just realized the worst thing ever. It's not that dramatic, I'm being dramatic, but I had the hating game on hold, so it was like on hold for me. And so I went and got the book and then I, you know, I was doing my thing, exploring the library, doing some reading, and then I left. And I completely forgot to actually check out the book. So it's like I stole, I stole this book. Yeah, I need to call them and tell them. I know it's like not a big deal, but I just get like anxious about like confrontational things like this. And like librarians are like the best, right? So I'm sure they'll just like think it's adorable or like it happens all the time. I just wanna to talk to people on the phone. Okay, I'm being dramatic, I'm gonna call them. Hi, um, I had The Hating Game by Sally Thorne on hold and I just went and picked it up and I completely forgot to actually like check it out before I left. Ah, that's so awkward, it's really not. It's not awkward, it's fine. The librarian like chuckled at me. It seems like that doesn't happen a lot cause like the librarian like definitely was like giggling when I said that. And then they had to like transfer me to customer service. And then the customer service lady was also laughing, like not at me, but just like that it was like an adorable, like funny situation. I don't know. Anyway, I have now officially checked out the hating game. But yeah, I don't think I wanna go to Barnes and Nobles. Barnes and Nobles? I don't know why I said it like that. I just really wanna start reading. I think I'm about to read the first chapter of Red, White, and Blue, so then I can tell you guys my thoughts on the beginning of this book. And then once I've read more books, I'm planning to make a big like book review video. So I'll tell you guys what I think of these books after I finish them in that video. Okay, I'm gonna read the first chapter of Red, White, and Royal Blue, and then I'll tell you my thoughts. gosh okay i'm not gonna say what i just read because i don't want to spoil it but just know that the main character alex the son of the u.s president and then prince henry royalty they are nemesis and that combined with them both attending the royal wedding a disaster an absolute disaster oh my goodness i love it already Ugh. now which book am i gonna read first that's so tough also what's so funny is i like to like imagine the characters voices in my head like as i read and prince henry is british and i like cannot do a british accent to save my life and because i can't like speak a good british accent i also can't think a good british accent if that makes sense so when i'm like reading the text and like hearing the like voice in my head i sound like crazy describing this it's really not that complicated but i was like laughing to myself trying to like imagine the british accent because i really just cannot anyway and then also alex the main character is from texas and so they were like talking about like UT, which is where I went to school, and like Austin, which is where I currently live, and like other things in Texas, and I was like, oh my gosh, I know all this stuff. It's so cool to read about like stuff that you're actually like really familiar with. But yeah, I'm excited for this book. I love reading books where I can like really relate to like the characters and like the world they're in, but I also love reading books where I know like nothing about their world. Like we've got British royalty and the son of a president at a royal wedding. So that's like three like such cool things like all in one book. Like obviously a very unfamiliar world for I'm sure everyone who's read this book, but a very cool glamorous world. I feel like a little kid just like reading for the first time because it's been so long since I've actually read for fun. So I'm so excited. Ah. But yes, please, please, please give me recommendations because I do want to make like a big review video after I've read a bunch more books. And I think I'm gonna be making a bunch more book videos on this channel. So let me know if that's something you're interested in. I'm gonna go, but I'll see you guys next week with another video, potentially a book video. Okay. Bye.